gradually without even realizing they fall in love the kind of love every parent would want for their kid got it yeah. next one plus uh, 3 plus 3 super so this formula looks complicated but the uh, good thing is someone has come up with their own formula this is your own and it's your way of looking at it you found the pattern you know the rules right you know use at the tick or tick and this will be 8 time units okay please sir please sir, sir could i try थिंक इज How many different types of beats can you make? Okay, with just tick and tick. But anybody wants to take a guess? How many different types of music can you make? We already made four here, right? You can make do five, six, but uh, there's any infinite type of music. Infinite, but we generally it should be only eight time units. Okay, this is a finite number. Okay, this is a picture I took when I went to Leyland. Okay, so I put this in different frames. I need to put this as a frame. in my room now you need to help me select which one looks the best on the wall this is is this the one left one or the second one the third one or this fourth one which do you think will look the more one. most appealing the second one the second this one, one. Second, second one, one. The second, second one, one. The okay. second one fourth one fourth second one okay can you be the first second one. one second one first one okay the majority of votes is for the second one you take a photo you there's an aspect ratio right so the length this photo divided by the width it's the same picture that right? it's showing the same mountain same sky same cloud same valley but it's not appealing okay? that's ratio is called golden ratio so it's related to fibonacci numbers so um, the only measurements in this diagram is 8 3 and 5 and they've all yes. yeah. they're all fibonacci yes correct that's a good observation also he likes to say that he is not a math teacher and neither a mathematician He is popularly called as a math communicator throughout India. He is the sole architect and the visionary of Ramanujan Math Park in Kuppam. Sir, you have also been awarded with Karnataka Vision Award. He is also an origamist with a Limca Book Record 2011. Six letters, three letters. Ah, E H R E E three. And in three, there are five letters. उंट Anything and everything, you know, they just count and find the relationships, you know, in that. Okay, this is one fun way of looking at the English language. And also, you know, if you are interested in mathematics, you have to find mathematics anywhere and everywhere. So you have a ten cross ten chessboard. So in the chessboard, there's a king at the left bottom corner, right? Okay, this is the starting position. Now the rules. It's a two-player game. So on your turn. Uh, you can move the king by one position. So the king, can you all see the king? So I can move the king to the top like this. Okay. Yeah. Or I can move the king to the right like this. Or I can move the king. What? What? Everything one position to the, like like this. The goal is whoever gets the king here, that person 
would be the winner. Very simple, right? So let's start. So who wants to go first? You want to go first or you want me to go first? Think no, we go second. We go second. Okay. Okay. So it's my turn. Hmm. Okay. Let me make the move. Okay. I, I go diagonal. Okay. Diagonal. Diagonal wins. Diagonal majority. Okay. Diagonal is the majority. So uh, it's team awesome. You made the move. So I have to make the move. I'm just thinking. I'll also make diagonal movement. So. This up. Up. Okay. So it's my move, right? My move. So I'll move. I'll go to the top. So you will go diagonal, you will win. Yeah, I'll go diagonal, yes. I'll go diagonal. Yeah, you will win. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Uh, moves are fixed, right? So this is team awesome. This is me. This is team awesome. And uh, okay, I made the move and I come here to take the cup. I won't give the exact strategy right away. Okay, I won't all of you think. Sir, uh, I got the strategy. So the most yes. thing of it is that whenever a person, suppose the opponent, uh, reaches the top, yeah. in the top line, then it's, yeah. we can say that we can win. But then we should make sure that we don't reach the top line first. Okay. Diagonal up as much as you can. Okay. The top right corner, it has a, a cube made out of nine squares. The this person, mm -hmm. yes, sir. the person who reaches that first, I think that person will win. Correct. Right. That's so. How do you make sure you go? You come here first, right? There are twenty-one coins on a table. Okay, and it's a two-player game. So the first player takes some coins. So the first player can take one, two, or three coins. So let's say it takes one coin. So there'll be 20 coins on the table, correct? Now the next player will play. Now he has to take one, two, or three coins. So let's say he take three coins. So there'll be 17 coins on the table. Again, the first player will play and so on. Now the person who cannot play on his turn loses the game. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll take three. Okay, three. Okay, it's fine. Okay, Rehan. Okay. 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 okay, and Aryan? Take one. One. Okay. So three. three. Okay. So there's nothing left. So Rihan picked the last coin. So Rihan is the winner. Okay. But let's so see. So okay. because after eight, five, four, uh -huh. three, and I'm left. So that's why. Very, very good observation, right? So in all the three games, uh, we we have something like this, right? Once you make a good move, let's see how many coins are there in the table. Okay. So I'll color this with uh, red. Okay. You made a good move. So let's see. I'm just highlighting all the things. See if you can see any pattern, okay? So all the numbers are even. Okay, that's good. Anything else? Even. As you go down, you minus four. Got it. I think uh, you got it right. So it's a multiple of four. It's a table of four. You have to make a first mistake. You have to keep making the first mistake and ask yourself questions. Is this right? Is this wrong? What questions do you ask? so that you reach the final answer. So I'm not here to tell you the final answer. I'm here to teach you what questions you can ask yourself so that you can read the final answer.